So the first thing in this ASOS haul is a satin midi skirt. I got two of them. This first one is uh, has a big thigh split and it's leopard print and I like it a lot. Um, it zips up on the side. The reason that I got it is because I gained some weight and I was trying to find something that would work that would be comfortable for hot weather while I was at work where there's no air conditioning and also something that would fit where I went with um, just a size in letters. I went with a medium instead of numbers because I didn't know what number I was and I didn't want to try things and then have to send them back. So I picked medium in general because I thought it would cover whatever number in women's sizes that I was. It actually didn't. I can zip it almost all the way up. So if I had a shirt, like a cool band shirt that was baggy, I could wear it with the skirt. And so I like the skirt. It's a fine quality and I would buy it again, but I would get it in a different size. The second midi skirt is a satin jacquard midi skirt in lime green and I'm wearing it right now lime green with animal print this has an elastic waist and my complaints for this are one it's see-through so I have worn it before and I wore it with a slip and you could tell where the slip ended because it was that see-through and I don't think that was that big of a deal I was at work and it didn't, you know, it didn't bother me that I could see the bottom of the slip, but I can see how it would bother some other people. And then the other thing that bothers me is that the waistband shows a black line. Like there's a black line that is sewn on the inside of the waistband. So if you want to tuck in your shirt, you can see the black. So you either have to make sure that the waistband is rolled underneath or you have to wear the shirt on the outside and not tucked in. And so I do not recommend this again, though it was very comfortable to have in the summer months at my job where it was really hot and I just wanted something where I could unstick my legs and still be really professional. The next two things I got were these two white tops. One is a square neck. Here I am wearing it now. It's actually not a crop top, but I did use it as a crop top in a reel that I made about crop tops by folding it under, you know that trick. And then the other white shirt I got is a plain white tee that has worked really well for me and I would definitely buy it again. It was $9, super good deal on ASOS. You should check it out, there's a link below. The next thing I got is sort of a set that I put together. So I got Pull and Bear shorts that have a logo about playing tennis. And then I got a Pull and Bear matching sweatshirt with tennis um with tennis text on it now they do go together being um green shorts and a white sweatshirt with the green same color green as the font but you could also get white and white or green and green but i didn't want to wear all white or all this color sort of kelly forest green and then i paired it with a baseball cap that is in Pretty much the same green. I think that ASOS made this hat to go with this whole outfit even though they're not made by the same people because Pull and Bear made the shorts and the sweatshirt. And the last piece I got in this was an Adidas original Tennis Lux logo t-shirt dress. This dress is a cool A-line dress. It's short and it has the Adidas or Adidas stripes on the side and they are this exact same green so I could mix and match them. I'm definitely keeping the dress. The dress is also see-through which was annoying to me because I had to be really careful about the underwear that I was wearing. I have no problem wearing nude underwear and making sure it's not see-through. I did wear this to work one day when it was really hot and I'm not sure I would do that again. I actually had tons of compliments from my students. They were like, I like the fit. But then this one kid at the end was that he was like, what look were you going for exactly? So it just looks kind of like this boxy sporty thing. And this time I would totally pair it with some white shoes that I have and see how it went. As you can probably tell, ASOS might be my favorite store besides Lulu's because 
I am into affordable fashion. Yes, I like luxury. Yes, I wish I could have better quality. Yes, I want to be sustainably conscious and care for the workers and make sure that the fabrics are perhaps like recycled or sustainably made with the water amount. And I think there are opportunities to do that buying from ASOS. For example, I had that Free People shirt, which is a level up, you know, from the regular ASOS brand, for example. It is a challenge to find affordable clothing that is for an everyday person, a normal person like me, who wants to have great style and wants to achieve these things. You know, having Adidas is really nice to me and I feel very fortunate and it's cool that from ASOS you can find all these different brands, Pull and Bear, Adidas, Free People, and their regular brand, ASOS, they make their own clothes. I enjoy all of that stuff. And so having a variety of things that I can get from one store is really convenient. And I just really like the way that their website works and how I can search things and find a bunch of different styles so that they fit my mood and every day I can have sort of this eclectic style that is truly me. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're into sustainable fashion or the fashion that I've been showing and see if you wanna follow me on my journey finding more sustainable clothing. Hit the like button and I'll see you next time. Much love.